I'm good. New year, new hair, you know? <laughs> the headband came because of the hairstyle. They, my teammates told me I had to put it on, so I said, all right, I'll put a headband on. Thank you. Peer pressure. The good kind, though. Olivia, you guys go from 51 points on Saturday to 90 tonight. What was the biggest difference in you guys' execution, do you think? I think a big part of it was that ending of the game on Saturday where we saw what we could do and how we could play with force and play with speed and attack. Not necessarily saying we want to shoot the ball early, just moving with speed, moving the ball, and playing with, with tremendous force and you know knowing what shots personally everybody can shoot. It seemed like tonight was a, one of your best all-around games. W would you agree with that? And, and what do you think led to, to you having success on both ends tonight? Uh, I think I had a conversation with Coach Schwartz before we started, and then he told me that you got to start building your identity, um, and you just got to start focusing on those certain things. And then on offense, you just got to understand that we're, we want you shooting those open shots when they come to you, but we also want you to be one of our like more physical players, rebounding, guarding, all around. And you know, every game I try to figure it out, I try to get better at it. And I try to find where my niche is, and I try to help my team in every way I can. Today, I got some shots, and you know, I'll take my shots. What do you want your identity to be? I think I kind of want to follow in Joe's footsteps a little, to be honest. I kind of want to be that, that Swiss, Swiss, Swiss Army knife kind of guy where I do a little bit of everything, and I bring some physicality to the team. Yes, I definitely think it felt that way. And like I said, I think that Texas game ending gave us a clear idea of how to kind of do it. And I think our best bet is to keep pushing this way. You mentioned Josiah. I mean, how impressive was what he rolled out there and did today? I think he was 14, 8, and 5 defensively, rebounding offensively, kind of did it all. It's amazing. That's, that's Joe, you know? That's what he does. That's what he's always done, and that's that's what we need him to do. And love to see it. Always get happy when you see it. You know, when Joe's smiling, everybody's smiling. Olivia, kind of on that same vein, there. I know that you and Josiah are probably two of the you know older, you know, smarter guys on this team, and I'm sure you know that when both of y'all play well, the team usually plays really, really well. How do you, you know, kind of is that something you try to understand but not focus on it going into games or? Because it just seems like when you and Josiah both play well, everything's different. Um, yeah, I think I think me and Josiah have done a great job of helping each other. We talk to each other a lot. We pick each other up a lot. I think Josiah is one of the people that I talk to the most, like on the court about things, especially our mistakes. Like every time I do something he doesn't like, he'll tell me. Every time he does something I don't like, I'll tell him. And uh, we've grown together. And I've gotten a chance to, for my first two years, to watch him play, learn from him. And then this year we're finally on the court a lot more together. And yeah, uh, I feel like we have a team where somebody can always step up. And then there's certain people who have certain jobs to do. Whether or not me and Joe are scoring points, we need to understand that our impact isn't only on the offensive end. It's, it's mainly actually on the defensive end because of the type of players that we are and because we're you know, versatile players. And then on the glass, me and Joe need to be some of our best rebounders, especially at that four spot where we kind of have to come in, come out. You know, Joe is more on that three spot, but where we're you know, moving on the court and not just really sitting in the paint. Like we have to be aggressive attacking the glass on offense and defense from different locations. And I think when we're doing that, we're helping us and then when me and Joe are able to focus on those things, usually we have good games. Texas a and is really good with offensive rebounds. Just what it take for you all tonight to somewhat contain them? And I think you all won the rebounding battle by one. Just to focus on it, we put a lot of emphasis. I mean, they came in here my freshman year and got, like you said, they're a great rebounding team and got 23 of them. So, you know, you remember those things. And then you know that you can't let something like that happen again because that's how you lose games. So you just lock in. And, you know, every game you know there's certain things you have to lock in on a little more than you might have for another game. And you just have to adapt and adjust and do what you got to do. Thank you, Olivia. Thanks, Olivia. Thank you, guys. Have a great night.